Towards the end of 2019, my brother and his wife built a house in Ohio. The builders did the final grade of the yard, but they did not take it any further than that. Once they moved in, it was up to us to finish all the landscaping. The house sits on a quarter acre lot, and it is in the corner, so there was a lot of work to be done. As it started to get warmer outside, we began the tedious process of turning this yard into one that their family can enjoy on a daily basis. The first project that we hopped into was setting the form for the concrete patio to be poured. Once we completed that, we hopped right into framing the deck so that the inspector could complete multiple inspections at the same time. We were able to get the deck completely finished while we were waiting for the concrete to be poured. And once everything was set, we began staging the patio so that we could start to use it when we weren't working. With the back area completed, we began working on the front garden. Josh designed a two-tiered garden and we started digging so that everything would sit level. Once that was complete, we moved on to the side garden that would also wrap around the back patio. We dug the post holes, attached PVC board to the posts, and we put the extra deck planks on top to finish it. We then filled it all with mulch. From there, we jumped into digging and setting the sprinkler system. I did not document this process very well because of how fast we were moving. After the sprinkler system was set, it was time to start filling the holes, pitching the yard, and making everything completely flat. While we were doing this, we also started building the fence around the property. Once everything had the correct pitch so that the water would flow away from the house, it was time to finally lay sod. We had 10 and a half pallets delivered to us late at night, so I think it's safe to say that we are the neighbor's favorites. We started laying the back corner of the house and worked our way to the front. Luckily, it wasn't just me and my brother for this part. We had a bunch of friends and neighbors stop by to help throughout the process. That really saved us, so big shout out to them. After everything was laid out, we didn't have a chance to dial in the sprinkler system, so we had to run hoses throughout the yard so that we could start watering it immediately. Now this is how the final product turned out for the front yard. You can see the garden is a little dead, however it is approaching winter time here and all of the plants are starting to go dormant. As you can see, this is how the side of the garden turned out. So we are completely done with the front now and the sides. All we have to do is move into the backyard and complete a few more projects. Now some of the projects that we still need to complete are installing the fence along the line of this concrete and tying it into the posts that are set over there and we also have a couple spots that still need to have the railings put in on the fence. Other than that, all we have to do is dial in the sprinkler system so that all the zones hit the right spots and nothing goes unwatered. Overall, this was a tedious process that took months to complete as we were only working for three days at a time. Once it was complete, we had a huge sigh of relief. While we saved a lot of money doing everything ourselves compared to the other people in the neighborhood, Nothing competes with the sense of fulfillment that we had knowing that we put in the hard work and completed this huge project all by ourselves. If you like how this project turned out, make sure you hit that like button to help us out and get other people checking out what we do. If you care to see any of our other projects that we take on, feel free to subscribe. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll always reply to anyone who comments. Thanks for watching.